Hey guys, what is up? Today I am bringing you my Ash Guide. Unlike last time, I will be doing this first part unscripted and I will be doing the rest of the video scripted. So let's just get started with the equipment right away. After this, I'll go into the play styles and how to use her. But yeah, equipment. So first off, you have the G36C and the R4C. Uh, these are pretty much the same. The only difference here is that the R4C has better recoil, damage and fire rate. So in most pretty much every single case I'll go with the R4C but in some cases where I'll be swapping out the scope on this one for a holographic or a red dot sight or a reflex I will be going with this one because this one I like to use this as a backup in case I want to do some engagements at a longer range if it's a map that has long hallways in it or big rooms I sometimes like to go with the G36C in those cases I do go with a silencer and obviously the vertical grip and obviously the ACOG. Moving on to the uh, R4C here I like to go with this as a basically a long range to medium and I like to go with the ACOG and the silencer. If you don't want to use a silencer I actually do recommend that you use the flash hider instead of the compensator because if you pay close attention you can see that the recoil is a bit better on the flash hider. Obviously you wouldn't use a laser sight because that is mostly to give away your position. It does increase your hip fire accuracy, but it's not really recommended you hip fire. So yeah, basically it's all down to preference is how you play the game. Or how you play Ash even. Uh, that's how you you know you'll decide what scope you want to use. But this is at least the setup I like to use. If you want to go with something different, that's totally fine. Moving on to the secondaries, we have the M45 and the 5.7 USG. I just basically prefer the M45 as it's got a lot more damage, but the 5.7 is pretty good as well. So you can this is this is all up to preference, to be honest. I would recommend going with a silencer as this is pretty good if you want to take out the cameras and not be noticed so easily. For gadgets, uh, I mostly go with the smoke grenade, but in some cases I will go with the breach charge. It all depends on the map and so forth so later in the video I'll talk uh, a lot more about the breach charge and the smoke grenade so you can get a gist of what to pick in what cases so yeah let's just move on to the playstyles when I was little my safta taught me that silence was a woman's best garment but I have to admit I never really took her advice to heart. So one of the most important things you need to know about Ash is that she's not a close range brawler. She's lightly armored and fast. She's amazing at medium to long range and you want to coordinate with your team when using her. Never try and rush an objective with her as this can lead to a quick death. So the playstyle I mostly like to go with Ash is the one where I'll flank. Because of her special ability, she excels at making openings from a safe distance. Where other operators run the risk of exposing themselves by planting a breach charge, Ash can stand at the safe distance and do the same. If the enemy team has murder holes, you can also use your grenade launcher to ruin their cover and open up another entry point. Another thing that's great about the launcher is that the grenade is detonated mechanically slash by a fuse. This means that Smoke's Jammer won't be able to defend against it. This is great for when the enemy team has a castle and you can't take out the jammer. You can also use the grenade launcher to take out shields and barbed wire. This works great when the enemy team has a hallway or a room that is well protected. Another thing you can do is to use the launcher on the roof, which can be quite confusing and stressful to the enemy team. Most of the time they'll expect the roof or walls to come down, but when the literal floor they're standing on falls out, they can start to panic quite a bit. Another thing that's great to do is to shoot your grenade above reinforced walls. In most cases, you won't be able to place a breaching shard there. And by opening that hole up, you can throw in grenades or even shoot through them if you get the right angle. One last thing, though I would not recommend it, is to use it as a weapon. As it is a one-hit kill. Granted, you actually manage to hit someone. One thing that's been discussed quite a lot is the use of smoke grenades. In my opinion, they're great if you use more than one. I find that the best way to use them is to throw them down when you want to plant or rescue a hostage. They can also be used to blind the enemy. For example, if he's in a room camping, you can throw a smoke grenade in and he won't be able to see anything unless he runs out of the room. 
and that's when you'll be able to strike. I also use the smoke grenades if I want to get to somewhere, but the door or window I'm going to pass by are being covered by an enemy player. Just be aware though that Yager's ability will take out your smoke grenades. Her breaching charges can also be used to great effect. Carrying these will give you the pleasure of having a total of 5 breach charges, which is great in those situations where their enemy team has strong fortifications. Another great thing about them is that they can be used in succession with the grenade launcher. So you can blow up two windows, doors or even walls at the same time. In most cases this will confuse the enemy defenders as they won't know which entry point to focus on. So to summarize I'd say Ash is best played methodical while you keep a safe distance and act as overwatch for your team. She is one of the harder operators to master and learning all the maps thoroughly is one of the requirements to do so. Hopefully I didn't forget anything but if I did be sure to leave a comment down below. And that does it, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new from this. If you want to see more guides like this, I've got some more on my channel. And I will be doing more in the future, so be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.